Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Today, I want to talk about page breaks. If you have a large document, you want to see where the page breaks are going to be. One easy way to do this is to go into print preview mode. Click this icon on the standard toolbar and then close print preview. When you get back, Excel will show you where all the page breaks are going to be. This dotted line between row 46 and 47 indicates that that is a page break. Now, in this case, this is an automatic page break. And it is likely to change if you ever change the margins or insert new rows or change the font size. There's another kind of page break that's a manual page break, and that occurs when you specifically want to break the page at a certain point. Let's say that you wanted every customer to be on a new page. You can force Excel to put a certain page break in at that spot. To insert a manual page break, you select a cell that's the first cell on the new page. And if this page break should be a row page break, you want to make sure that you are in the first column, column A. So I've selected the cell here, and I'll go to Insert Page Break, and Excel draws a line. And now this line is just a little bit different than the line that we get for the automatic page breaks. And let me show you that. Right between row 54 and 55 is the automatic page break. If I would then insert a manual page break, you can see that the dashes are a little bit thicker on the manual page break as opposed to the automatic page break. All right, so to go back to our problem here of inserting automatic page breaks between every customer, you basically just have to select each customer, insert break, insert break, insert break. It'd be actually kind of a tedious process. Well, one great trick, if you're allowed to do it, is to use the automatic subtotals feature, which of course has a setting to insert a page break at each change in customer. To reset all the page breaks, I'll select the cells, choose Insert, Reset All Page Breaks, select one cell in my data, data, subtotals, at each change in customer, use the sum function, and say that we want a page break between groups. This will very quickly add totals and put each customer on a different page, much quicker than manually setting all the page breaks. So there you have it the difference between an automatic page break, a manual page break, how to remove all page breaks, and finally, how to use the subtotals command to quickly add page breaks between each customer. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.